Hey, welcome to the worst channel on YouTube. My name is Matt, and I have an amazing movie idea to pitch to a Hollywood producer. But for some reason, they stopped taking my calls after I just kept throwing them ideas. So I decided to put it up here. Maybe we can get a crowd funded. Not sure, but here we go. Okay, so horror movies are cheap to produce, right? And found footage movies are even cheaper to produce. But people are getting really tired of them because they're all the same. Someone is recording everything with a handheld camera, jump scares happen, loud noises, blurry images, etc. The realism just isn't enough for people anymore, so we need a new gimmick. Here's my idea. So, no one has ever done a found footage style black and white movie because they're all supposed to be in modern times, right? But what if, back in the day of silent movies, there was some found footage of like a haunting or something? So, here's the story. Back in the 1920s, there was some Hollywood studio, we can make up the name, that closed down due to an unsolved murder there on one of their sets. Some paranormal investigators go to the abandoned studio in modern times looking to film a ghost hunting show, but instead of paranormal activity, they find an old film reel that had laid undiscovered for years. On this reel, there is a bunch of found footage from the last movie the studio was filming. This was a silent movie. They were making a slapstick comedy, but during filming, they kept seeing paranormal stuff in the background, like things moving, chairs falling over, faces and windows, stuff like that. This is the excuse of how the footage was filmed back in the day without handheld cameras. It was all caught by accident. You know, it's all spooky, and the majority of the movie is just this, a silent movie where the actors are trying to film comedy scenes, but then they get interrupted periodically by paranormal stuff. You know, people getting cut and scratched by demonic forces, things falling over, you know, that kind of thing. We'll have plenty of jump scares in it because that's what people love, and it's really easy to do because it's a silent movie anyway. We just need to cut out the music for a few seconds and put in a really loud jump scare noise in place of the music when something scary happens. And it'll be extra scary because the movie is already silent. This whole style in modern day will be the gimmick to get people to see it. And it may start a new trend of making retro silent movies going forward. The thing is, we'll also need some extra sex appeal to make people come to the movie. So let's have some scenes of modern day where the paranormal investigators are being interviewed about what they saw on the film reel, stuff like that. We'll have to cast some unknown, hot, young actors and actresses on the cheap to play them. They'll talk about how they were super creeped out and stuff by the footage and, you know, traumatized, whatever. Oh, and we'll also need to cast some hot people to play the silent movie actors, too, because, you know, styles have changed, so it won't look super authentic, but anyway. Uh, maybe we'll have some PG-13 nudity in there, too, somewhere to get butts in the seats. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking out loud here now. Anyway, <laughs> we need to make it PG-13 to bring in the most people we can while still keeping it scary, so we can't show much blood. Well, actually, we can show blood. It just has to all be in the silent footage part because the MPAA doesn't really care about blood if it's in black and white. So, yeah, we can do that. They're really inconsistent like that, so we can show as much gore and horror as we want as long as we keep it all in black and white. So the ending is what is really clever. Okay, so, so hear me out, hear me out. The last shot of the silent movie in there that we see shows the murder that wasn't solved, right? One of the actresses gets taken away by the demon or the spirit or whatever, and then gets murdered in a gory and horrible way. And again, the MPAA doesn't care because it's in black and white. But then we cut back to modern day where the paranormal investigators go back to the abandoned studio with like, you know, ghost hunting equipment, EVP stuff, looking for the spirit of the murdered woman trying to put her spirit to rest. It's a super tense scene, but then instead of finding an innocent victim, they learn that the woman was actually a secret spy for the Germans during World War I and she was experimenting with ancient technology that could summon demons. The demon she summoned was supposed to destroy the American military, but instead it turned on her and it's still in the studio. 
The paranormal investigators then unleash the demon with their actions and it kills all of them. Off screen, of course, so we can keep our good rating, but we'll just say it's to keep it scarier. You never see what happens and that's always scarier, right? So this opens up the idea of sequels where the military is battling against this unstoppable force that was summoned, but you know, that's for the future. My working title is Silent Watcher or maybe Deadly Silence, but you know, it's just an idea. We can work out the title later. I think it would just be a smash hit and become the latest horror franchise to break box office records. And the best part is the sequels don't have to have this gimmick in there. It's just that people will be like, oh, we're so invested in the story of the demon fighting against the American military and stuff. So yeah, what do you think? Maybe we should uh, get this one funded, you know, crowdfunded. Maybe we can get it released. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and for more bad movie ideas, please consider subscribing, leaving a comment, and sharing this video. This is the absolute worst channel on YouTube, so don't forget to leave a like if you also enjoy terrible things.